So today I'm going to open up Vodafone Femtocell, I think they're called, um, otherwise known as a Shaw signal. So what you'll need is a Torx T9 screwdriver. Also sorry about the very awful camera setup, but it's the best I can do because I don't have three hands to, to open this and one to hold the camera. So use the T9 Torx screwdriver to unscrew the four screws. Also, if you are going to put this back together after you've taken it to bits, you need to note that the top two screws furthest away from the power socket have a thinner thread, um, more like electronic screws. The two screws at the bottom next to the power, which are much further recessed into the case, are more like wood screws and screw straight into plastic and have a, a wider gap between the threads. So if you do put it back together, don't put them in the wrong place. So that's a good start. The next thing I'm going to get, I guess, a scribe maybe, that might be called. I don't know what it is, some kind of cheap plastic thing I got with an iPhone repair at some point. And if I can find it, oops, make an absolute mess in my desk. A plectrum as well is probably going to be useful for me. So the uh, edge with the easiest play is the bottom edge next to where the power is. Oh, sorry, where the network is and where the power is. And I'm going to wedge one corner of it open as much as I can. minute. There we go, so that's wedged open. I'm now going to use this scribe to go along this edge. And there we go, that's pinged open that side. That had the scribe blade facing up towards the power socket and just pinged it and uh, there's a clip there which has come undone. So I'm going to do the same with the other side. Alright, there we go. So that's now those two clips done. And I think, there we go, I'm going to do that with the, the power socket facing downwards. And then you just hinge the cover off. And in this case, I don't know whether you can see that well on the camera, it's got a massive black burn mark on the case there. Lovely. So what do we have? Some burn marks on that cable there, which is one of the ones from the power terminal. And a lot of circuit boards, or two, look like they're sandwiched together. So let's see what else we can take apart on this. Looks like the aerials are at the top here. So, need a normal screwdriver. And I'm going to undo the four screws, the only ones I can easily get to.
Well, let's see what we can do. Can I detach this board from the one below it? Right, on uh, this side it's got a multi-pin connector, which is the only thing now that left that seems to be keeping it together. There we go. Mm, yes, very nice black mark on this uh, bit of plastic here as well. So what do we have underneath this cover? No, apparently not an aerial, just shielding. Wasn't very well attached. Let's see. So without that plastic cover, that I should have noticed or uh, taken more care when taking that to bits to see where it actually connected to. It looks like it might attach to that tiny little tongue there. Although it looks like it might be a bit of a pain to reattach. If indeed that is where it... Oh no, I see it, it must just put pressure on it. Not very well designed, in my opinion. Yes, there we go. So, on the right hand side here, next to where that connector is, that, that plastic goes above the circuit board. On the left hand side, the metal tongue goes on the underside of the circuit board and plastic goes above it. Anyway, nothing looks particularly damaged on uh, that bit of circuit. In fact, it looks like it even has an external aerial connector there, if uh, you wanted to add an extra aerial to it. So, I guess the power circuitry now. And, uh, yes, lovely. The chip which seems to have exploded in my case is uh, there. It's got a nice hole in it. <laughs> And not easy to remove this circuit board from the entire thing without desoldering the, the pass-through connector for the power. So the chip which seems to have exploded is... I can clean that a bit more. If I can read it correctly, a TNY279PN, and then below that. DJ eight zero one A. Is that top one? If I can read it again, TNY two seven nine PN. And then above it there is a number, but it's got the explosion in it, so I can't actually see what that one says. Starts with one two. And I've no idea what it would do because I don't know circuit sadly. I'm sure somebody would go, oh yes, that's probably something or other for the power circuitry which does whatever. And I know somebody who will be able to tell me that, so I can probably repair it. But for the purpose of this video, not a clue. But I don't see any other uh, components that are either bulged or um, damaged, so I hope that this thing's repairable. We will uh, find out sometime. So I might put it back together, just so I know that I can put it back together, and just to go through it with you. So the aerial, the 
A strange plastic shroud, which probably actually lives... Mm. No, that can't live underneath that, so let's put that back on. Also, where I sh probably should have taken note as to which side had the plastic standoff instead of the metal one. It actually looks like I can probably reattach the two non-wood type screws and save me a bit of hassle Yep, that'll make things slightly easier, I think, putting it back together. I think I probably guessed correctly there. The plastic standoff is on the side closest to the multi-pin connector going between the two boards and I believe this because I think one of the aerial connectors might be this strap here and if so you wouldn't want a metal standoff messing up the frequency of presumably a fairly well-tuned aerial above it So and, and with a metal screw going into it so I'm going to assume that I've remembered correctly and that's the side that the plastic standoff was in So, putting that together, furthest away from the power, hook it in, and then just literally slide together. All back together. Well, I'm not going to plug it in because it's got that exploded component and I don't think that would go very well, considering it doesn't work anyway. I hope this has been interesting for you and thank you for watching. Sorry about the terrible uh, camera setup.